Hey everyone, the name is Chris Boroto. Welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I want to talk about this beauty. This is Warm Audio's take on the original Tone Bender. And not just one version of the Tone Bender fuzz, but you get two different NOS germanium diode versions. And a third one, which is a modern take on that sound and on the circuit. Uh, we'll talk about all of that, but first, here's the intro track. Before we get into the details of the warm bender, let's talk a little bit about the tone bender, the original pedal or, well, pedals. Um, it's one of the first fuzzes ever created. I think it's like the, the second big one because the Maestro was, I think, like a year earlier. Um, but then in 64, 65 in London, they created the tone bender, the first generation, the Mark I, and that, that exploded, that created this whole new era of guitar tones. All those beat bands um, wanted to get one, they started buying and, and incorporating that tone into their music and the rest is history obviously. And then a short while after they changed the circuit a little bit, they went from a three germanium transistor uh, circuit to a two uh, transistor circuit. Uh, that's what we call now the Mark 1.5 and then they moved on to the Mark 2 which again used three germanium transistors and um, and the rest is history. Now you can find a lot of different versions of that. A lot of hospitals are based on, on the tone bender. They all come back to just a handful of fuzzes, the tone bender being one of the most influential ones. So what Warm Audio did with the Warm Bender is they gave you two different classic legendary circuits. Uh, both have NOS germanium diodes. This is the, the first one, the, it's called the NOS 76 with uh, two um, germanium transistors. And the second one is called the NOS 75, which has three transistors. The, the difference between these two is massive. <laughs> Tone-wise, gain-wise and everything. It, it, it's like two very different hospitals, really. And the first one is really the 1.5 version. That's the two transistor, two germanium transistor version. And it has um, an actual old, new old stock. Uh, wait, let me, let me get this one right. OC76 transistor paired with an SFT337 um, germanium transistor. I'm not a huge transistor nerd, so I don't know if that's cool or not, it's just what it is. And I know that I like what it does to my guitar tone, so. Mm-hmm. 
The other one, the second version, is called the Mark II, really. That's the three transistor, the three germanium transistor version. Much more gain, much smoother, much more aggressive if you crank the gain. And um, it, it is just, it's told, a very different experience. <laughs> And the third one, that's really cool, that's a silicon transistor um, circuit and that's Warm Audio's addition to that tone bender kind of idea of, or circuit really. And it's much more smooth, it's, it's uh, much more modern than uh, the other ones, the Germanian ones. There's another really cool thing that Warm Audio put on the pedal, and that's this SAG switch. Uh, you can turn it on or you can keep it off. What that does is it reduces the voltage of the battery or the, the power socket. And uh, with that, it creates that sort of dying battery kind of thing. What I really like about this SAG uh, feature is that it reacts in a very different way depending on which version you're playing, which voicing or, or circuit you're playing. On the first one, on the Mark 1.5 with the dual germanium transistors, it cleans up the signal, removes a little bit of the low end, and with that you just have a, a more articulate tone, really. It does get a little gated, but it's not too radical. <laughs> And the second, it's, uh, it depends on the gain, I guess, on the three germanium transistor Mark II uh, voicing, uh, but it's much more aggressive on the third, on the silicon one. <laughs> It's just a really, really inspiring pedal. If you love fuzzes and tried a couple of them, you know how crazy different the experience is uh, playing those different fuzzes. It's much more 
radical and obvious than like different overdrives. You can get, I don't know, 10 similar overdrives and they will sound a bit different, but you'll get the same kind of result or you'll stay in the same ballpark. If you take 10 different tone bender type fuzzes, you will get 10 very different uh, vibes and sort of EQ curves and everything because every little decision that they make, every component inside, all the values, etc., change so much since the circuit is so simple. So one single component can make a big difference in how it reacts to a humbucker, how it reacts to um, an overdriven amp after the pedal or a clean amp after the pedal. I love about this is that I don't feel like I want to compare it to like the original one, you know, whichever version, the 1.5 or the Mark II. Um, I just love what it does. <laughs> and, um, and that's not always the case with fuzzes. Even though I love fuzzes, I am really picky. And for the most part, I like a fuzz and then I don't find a use for it or can I really imagine how to incorporate that into my, my playing. With this, I definitely love the first one immediately. That with like gain around one o'clock, that is the thing. That's dynamic as hell. Uh, it cleans up really well. It takes humbucker guitars, uh, strats, tallies, whatever you plug into it. I can see that being so versatile without even touching the version switch, which I will. I know I will, because <laughs> I also love the silicon with uh, the gain pretty much maxed out and the sag on, because that's like the craziest uh, sort of gated, weird fuss tone. Yeah, let me know what you think about the tones I got with the pedal in the comment section below. Let me know if you have a question or multiple questions. I'll try to get back to you and um, see you in the next video. Bye bye.